Today we're going to do a skin fade haircut and I'm pretty much going to save this skin fade the best that I can. Now you notice when this customer came in, his hair on the top was kind of detached from the side, almost like an undercut. So whoever was doing it before, I believe they went too high in my opinion. So the first thing I want to do is conquer the top and I'm going to go ahead and do a scissor uh, comb cut just straight back. I'm using three fingers as my guide for my scissors. So as you can see, I'm pulling the hair back with the comb and then scooping up using my three fingers as a guide and that's going to tell me how much hair i'm taking off of the hair now again this fade haircut was way too high for me um i just think it was just like you know it was like it was like kind of hanging over like when it was combed to the side it was hanging over the side kind of overlapping the side and i feel like everything needs to blend together but i had to work with what i can now you can see the back of his hair is sticking up that's because the back of the hair was too high guys so when you're fading make sure that you keep the back of the hair low you can see right there in the back part it's like spiked up but we're gonna fix that we're gonna blend it in we're gonna go a little bit high because we have no choice and then we're also gonna fix that hair so we're gonna start off with our skin line and i pretty much just wanted to get the hair in a position that i that i had to get it in for me to go ahead and save this fade haircut we're also gonna do the beard as well so we're gonna start our skin line we're gonna work our way all the way around the head from the temple area we're just gonna follow that all the way around Okay, now I'm gonna go with a clipper over comb because again, that hair was uh, overlapping. That's why I wanted to cut the top of the hair first, comb it over so I can start my scissor, not my scissor, my clipper over comb. You can do that with scissors as well. Now, next thing I'm gonna do here is uh, open up my machine all the way and I'm gonna start my guideline. I'm gonna take this guideline all the way around the head as well. Now again, you can use scissor over comb in that area. You can use clipper over comb. In this case, I decided to use clipper over comb. Now you can see the top, the back of his head really clear right now. You can see that the last barber brung that up way too high. There should be some more hair in that crown area coming down a little bit, at least. Even if it's a high fade, there should still be some hair in that area. But we have to work with what we need to work with and we wanna make this look good, okay? So the next thing I did here was basically grab my number two guard and I'm gonna clear the bulk in the area and I'm just gonna go a little bit higher and I'm basically gonna save that back back area where he can grow some hair at. So we're going to do the same thing on this side, just going up, making our uh, way so we can start our fade, just clearing that bulk. So now we drop down to our one and a half guard and we're going to continue to blend into each guard. So we're going to blend from that one and a half, we're blending into that two. And again, the fade is going to look a little weird right now, but as we start to get lower in the guards, the fade is really going to start to take place and really start to give it a nice blend. Okay, dropping down to my one guard, we're going to continue to blend into that one and a half guard. As we get higher, we're opening that lever. Now we did get some questions on people asking about the lever, like when I'm when I'm cutting hair, am I opening the lever, closing the lever? Yes, I'm opening and closing the lever. As I get higher, I'm opening it. As I get lower, I'm closing it. Now we do have a complete guide to how to use the lever on your machine. If you just go to YouTube, type in how to use your lever, I'm gonna come up and it's gonna show you exactly how to use that lever. Just a step-by-step -step guide on how to use your lever and why the lever is so important. Okay, dropping down to our half guard. There's barely anything else to fade, but you still wanna go over this step. Again, now you see that the fade is really starting to take place. Even though the back part of the crown is really high, the fade is gonna start to look nice. Now, when he starts to grow the hair back, all that hair that's missing up there is gonna start growing back because I'm keeping the fade in a certain area so I can allow room for growth, okay? So I'm pretty much saving the haircut so when the next, you know, one to two more times he comes back, then we're gonna start having that growth. So now I went ahead and took that guard off and we're gonna completely take out this skin line, guys. Same thing over here, shorter strokes, just 
kind of completely just trying to take out that line. Really attacking that line, make sure that your machine is zero gapped. Now you can see the comb over looks way better because we used the clipper over. The comb is not overlapping like it was when he came in. It's high, it's not where I would want it, but it looks better. Now we're gonna just shape out the outside of the head just to give that fade and let it pop a little bit more. We're gonna shape up just his area. He wants to leave the front natural. Over here, we're gonna blend in the sideburns of his beard because we're also gonna shape the beard. He wants to keep it dark. So we're just gonna just like raise over any hairs that are sticking out when coming in the direction that he wants it in. I'm gonna start on the outside of the jawline and we're gonna go under the chin and we're gonna work our way to the top of his beard. Also hit that with the razor to make it extremely sharp. Working my way right here, not getting into too much detail here because I'm gonna use a straight razor. Again, me personally as a barber, I probably would have left his beard a little bit higher, but that's what I'm here for and that's why I'm cutting his hair. So we're gonna just get into where we want it to be as a barber. So I'm just going over any hair that's sticking out and just grazing over. Same thing over here, just blending the sideburns into that fade, just so it won't be a hard line. You wanna make sure that you blend in the sideburns if you're doing a skin fade especially. And we're just shaping the outside of the beard. Again, we're gonna hit the top, hit the mustache, and we're gonna go ahead and hit him with that straight razor because that's what's really gonna make everything pop. Hitting the top of the mustache, making it happen. So now we're gonna go ahead and grab some Easy Blade Shave Gel. You guys can grab that on our website, easybladeshavingproducts.com. We're gonna go ahead and grab an Easy Blade Straight Razor along with an Easy Blade Double Edge Razor and really start to shape this beard and give it some structure. And, you know, give him that detailed look that he's looking for. And you can see the beard is starting to look a lot better. Um, the hairs are basically laying down the way I wanted them to. Just shaping the outside again, grabbing some more Easy Blade Shave Gel, which is gonna make your blade glide a lot easier, guys. The same thing over here, straight razor. Check out our website, we have tons of products. If you guys want a coupon code, use coupon code YouTube, guys, and save some money. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some Easy Blade clay in his hair. We're just gonna style it a little bit. And pretty much just give it that rugged look and then just kind of comb it over um, and just give it that nice, defined look. You can see his beard looks better. Um, the skin fit looks way better. The back of the head looks better. We have some pomade to lay down that, that back of the head that was like sticking up. We want to lay that down for now. And you know, this way when it grows back, you'd be good. Again, here, G Jay here from EasyBladeShadeProduct.com. I will talk to you guys soon. Like, comment, subscribe. You can see that he's happy, so I'm happy. Talk to you guys soon.